Why are we observing the oceans? Our planet is changing fast, and there has never been a greater need to monitor, understand and predict change in marine systems. Thanks to research, innovation and investment in technology, satellites now routinely monitor the surface skin of the oceans on a global scale. But the ocean basins and the deep sea floor, which can reach depths of more than 11,000 metres, are beyond the reach of satellite remote sensing. Understanding these deeper and more remote locations is key to understanding the global ocean and its impact on the climate system. This requires the latest in-water technology and engineering to develop automated observatories that continuously monitor the ocean environment beneath the surface. We also need to understand how the ecosystems that provide essential goods and services are responding and coping with the global change. How are we observing the oceans? To obtain continuous long-term data sets, a sustained approach is vital. Whilst many measurements are made by ships, fixed ocean observatories provide the best information. These are positioned at key ocean locations to autonomously record physical, chemical and biological properties in the water column and on the sea floor. Data can be sent back in near real time in a variety of ways, by satellite from surface buoys, acoustically from the deep sea, along seafloor cables, and manually by recovery of deployed equipment and experiments. The European Commission supports many marine projects which contribute to the Group on Earth Observation. These monitor and assess the impact of global change on the ocean from the Arctic through the Atlantic to the Mediterranean and Black Sea. Projects include the Fixed Point Open Ocean Observatory Network Eurosites, the European Sea Observatory Network ESANET, and the European Multidisciplinary Seafloor Observatory Infrastructure EMSO. Another project, Hermione, focuses on hotspot ecosystem research in the deep sea and man's impact on European seas. Now let's have a look at the deep sea floor environments. The deep sea floor can seem remote from the problems of climate change and human activities. But the deep sea contains a myriad of different ecosystems that all contribute goods and services that are vital for maintaining the planet. Many of these deep sea ecosystems are suffering the effects of climate change and many are also showing signs of human impact. Cold water coral communities are very complex ecosystems incorporating thousands of different species and providing breeding grounds for commercial fish. However, they are also targets for deep water trawling and ecosystems that have taken thousands of years to develop can be destroyed in just a few minutes. The seafloor can also be used as a vital early warning system for geohazards including tsunamis and earthquakes. Technological advancements now enable seafloor cables connected to sensor platforms to collect and transmit data in near real time. Once the seafloor nodes are positioned, mooring lines and other platforms can be attached to collect vital environmental data on the ocean mass above. How are scientists using these data? Across Europe, projects including Eurosites, Hermione, ESANET and EMSO are working together to integrate water column and seafloor ocean observations, as well as studies of human impact. The sustained high-resolution datasets produced by these networks are vital for society to understand how the oceans are changing and how we are impacting them. This is important so scientists can predict future global change and develop sustainable management plans for Europe's offshore resources. By contributing to the Group on Earth Observations, European marine science is moving towards the vision of integrated, in-situ observation of the open ocean and deep sea. These environments are some of the final frontiers on our planet. Understanding the complex processes and the bountiful resources the oceans have to offer is key to achieving a sustainable use of the marine environment and enjoying our global ocean for years to come.